Watch this together. Skip. What is up, guys? So we got some twists and turns with the beef between David Coggins and Sean Strickland. Some stuff that transpired today. And we're pretty much just going to go over everything that happened. So yesterday, David Coggins had put that video out. Everything okay. that happened. If you don't know who David Goggins is, he's like an ultra marathon runner. He used to be a Navy SEAL. The guy's like basically, he's he's a demigod. Okay, he's if, of like workout and training. What's up, Eric? Is it night? No, so it's morning. So yesterday, David Goggins had put that video out, showing the DM of him, you know, proposing a challenge. Anytime you want to train with me, let me know. No more BS or running your mouth. Do three training days with me. And right after, I will happily do three rounds of boxing with you. Let's stop running our mouths and just man up. I'm back in September. I'm not going to do. I'm not going to video shit. I'm going to show you where, <laughs> where your world ends and mine begins. I can box, okay? I have endurance in the sport. Plus, my old man fucked me up for sport. Looking forward to it. Okay, 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 okay. So this is David Goggins sending this message over to Sean Strickland, who's like. He was the heavyweight title or heavyweight uh, champion or was a middleweight or something like that. I don't know of uh, UFC. What's the Sean Strickland saying? Hey, you do three days of training with me. I'll do three rounds with you. So Sean Strickland reacts to this. This is this is why I make fun of you. I live in Las Vegas. You live in Las Vegas. I train in extreme coats here every day. The door is always open. Instead, let's get on the TikTok and make a video. Lol. At Mitch Aguilar showed showed all you got to do is walk in the door. Instagram video saying this is why I make fun of you. I live in Las Vegas. You live in Las Vegas. I train at Extreme Couture every day, and the door is always open. Instead, let's get on the TikTok and make a video, laugh out loud. Mitch showed. All you got to do is walk in the door. And if you don't know who Mitch is, it's a Navy SEAL who went and sparred Sean Strickland for 25 minutes. <laughs> So David Goggins responded to Sean Strickland saying, reminder, you started all of this juvenile nonsense. I would have never said your name in my entire life as I mind my own business. You called out seals and then specifically started running your mouth about me. So I responded. So I responded, you want me to bring people into the arena? I am no, I'm under no illusions about the suffering I will endure in the ring. But the humbling you will endure at my hands in my arena as well is well worth it. You want to bring it to your arena where you like to bully people? You aren't, ta you aren't talking about coming into mine. You are a professional fighter. Your focus should be on getting your belt back, not wasted, not wasted on all of this bullshit. That said, it's only fair that you come to my arena first as you started this shit, and then I'll be more than happy to come to yours. As I told you in our DMs, I am in Vegas, so hit me up. See, dude, that's what I'm saying. It only makes sense that he would put his money where his mouth is and do Goggins training. But he won't do that because Sean Strickland is 100% a fucking bully. Honden, you want to bring people into your arena? I'm under no illusions about the suffering. I will endure in the ring, but the humbling you endure at my hands in my arena is well worth it. You want to bring it into your arena where you like to bully people? Well, we As you Strickland puts out a video saying that me up. Now, shortly after that, Sean Strickland puts out a video it's saying that. I recruited a hunter. One second, one second, one second, one second. Hold on, I'll be right back. He is a fraudulent man. He's an easy target. He, he's a fraud. Bro, you are so great at running down the street. You're not hard. You're not tough. You run, my man. And do you know why I know you're fraudulent? Because as I make fun of you and you post your little TikTok video, I'm a hard man. I'll show up. I'll handle this like a man. No, you won't, dude. I train at Extreme Couture. I am easy to find. You live in Las Vegas. I live in Las Vegas. Show up. Mitch showed up. Do you not know how to use GPS, my So this is the way that a bully will will goad you into coming. And he's, he's just trying to get... Like, he's trying to get a little bit more fame off Goggins because right now, Sean Strickland is failing as an entertainer because, like, he's done fighting. He's not doing anything. He's just fucking getting fat. And he's, he's like, still, like, training or whatever. But he's, he's not doing anything. So he needs to go out and, like, goad people into doing things so he can become a spectacle again and get some free publicity. My man, do you not know how to, you not know how to get in your car? I'll tell you what. Why don't you jog down? But you won't, dude, because you are a fraud you go on tiktok and you make these stupid videos you are a fraud and that's why i make fun of you and that's why you will never show up because i will expose you i will expose you so just stay on tiktok and, and keep running or man up and show up what you want now sean strickland was getting grilled in the comments section under this video that he put out either from david goggins supporters or his own followers but people have a lot of respect for david goggins 
here are some of the comments. Some guy says he served his country and teaches men to be accountable. You cry on podcasts about how mean your dad was. Goggins already earned our respect. You're wrong on this one, dude. A patriot making fun of an American hero. Grow up, dude. Mitch, the guy that Sean Strickland sparred, even chimed in saying David Goggins is hard as effing coffin nails and is undeniably one of the toughest human beings on earth. Strickland, you are also extremely tough and undeniably one of the best fighters on earth. You guys are both at the very top in your worlds. You're both great, but it's apples and oranges. You guys are more alike than you think. I think Cameron Haynes and I should host a fun weekend of endurance slash MMA training so we can all suffer together because shared. I agree with that. That's probably a better way of doing it than like them like trying to bring each other into the rings and like trying to gain some kind of like notoriety or fame based on like like trying to like sh it's just like a pissing contest it makes no fucking sense and like sean strickland is a fucking caveman the dude has the intelligence of a fucking of a gnat he's not smart he's like clever he's clever i'll give him that but he's not a smart man he's a fucking idiot your suffering always brings people together laugh a lot misery loves company that video out he bought david goggins you know guys if i had to be completely honest I think I'm just bored and angry, you know? I'm the number one. Boom, bored and angry. Makes sense. Contender. I got to wait for Izzy and Dreykus to fight to get my shot. What does one do? I'm bored and angry. I'm training. I'm in shape. But what does one do? I'm just bored and angry. That's, that's his apology. Video, okay, fine. I'm sorry, Goggins. You're cool. I'm just bored and angry. You can show up, but if not, it's just cool. Just eating man. his words You're afterward, dude. Runner. You have some cool quotes. My mental stability. They're noticing the hate comments. Sean Strickland says, because they're right, man. I'm just being a dick because I'm bored and angry. Left. Called Broke it. Got post nut clarity. Strickland says, <laughs> just got done. What's anyway. really interesting about this is, uh. is Sean Strickland's fan base is like patriotic. David Goggins is obviously, you know. Yeah, yeah, don't mess with David Goggins, man. I mean, like, look, Sean Strickland, yeah, I get it. You're a good fighter. That's all you are. You are nothing else. You are not even like a. You're not, dude, honestly, like, you're a pussy. And, like, I really, I honestly think that you being a bully is, is like, it's just the apex of what you have to offer the world.